Hi. Um, today I'm going to be doing uh, a bit of magic and a bit of mentalism. I'm going to need four people from the audience. I'm going to throw this paper ball out. Uh, when you catch it, stand up and throw it to someone else so it's random. Okay, I'm going to throw it out now. I can't really see, but... If you are... <laughs> can, can, can it be down here just because they have to climb over the barriers? Is that right? Who's got the paper ball? <laughs> Where's it gone? <laughs> no one's got. Do you want to stand up? Could you throw it to someone else? Would, would you like to stand up for me, please? Could you throw it to someone else? Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. <laughs> Whoever catches it, stand up. Don't be shy. Who's got it? <laughs> no one wants to come on stage. <laughs> hey, well, uh, do you want to come up? Stand up. They want to come. Now, I've got you four, can you come to the stage? Is that right? Can we get these four to the stage? Yeah? Okay. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Today, I wrote a prediction down on the back of one card in this deck, okay? We're going to get back to that in a minute. We have a deck of cards here. There's 52 cards in the deck. Can you see that? Yeah? And at the moment, every card has a position in the deck. So, for instance, the Jack of Hearts is now in the third position. But if you were to cut the deck like this, the Jack of Hearts would change position in the deck so does every other card, yeah? So what I'm going to do is we're going to get a card selected, so we're going to eliminate some cards, okay? So I want you to just think red or black, and just say it, say it out loud. Red, now cut the deck for me. So you're mixing the card up, yeah? Perfect, so you think red. Now I would like you to think hearts or diamonds. Diamonds. Diamonds, cut the deck for me. So it's a, so diamonds. Now I want you to think picture cards or number cards. Now I would like you to pick a picture card. What was the suit? Diamond. Diamond. So pick a jack of diamonds, queen of diamonds, king of diamonds, any card you want. Queen of diamonds, cut the deck for me. So now, we come up with a random card, four of you, right? And we were cutting the deck, so we were changing the position of the cards. Just going to keep cutting it like this, mix it up. So now the position of the cards has changed, so there's no way I know what card is it? Queen. Queen of diamonds. So there's no way I know the position of the queen of diamonds in that deck, is there? And there's no way you know. Remember before I said I wrote a prediction down in here? One card. One card only in this deck. It should be a prediction. And it's number 21. See, that tells me that your card will be in a 21 position in the deck. Bearing in mind, you were mixing the cards, you thought of a card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. The Queen of Diamonds. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. The possibility is that is crazy because you were cutting the deck, you were changing the order of the cards and you thought of a card. But would you believe me if I told you that I knew today you thought we were going to come up here and I knew you was going to think the Queen of Diamonds. Would you believe me? No. No. Right, and I knew you guys wouldn't believe me because I wrote 21 on the back of the Queen of Diamonds. No. <laughs> no. Thank you. Thank you for coming up. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. We were. 
back there going, how the flipping heck does he do that? I won't ask any of your tricks, okay, but that was amazing. Good Thank stuff. You. Stand up this way, Brian. Um, this is going to be a weird one because, of course, if I could do anything, you know, lots of people want to be able to sing, lots yeah. of people want to be able to play the instruments. I've always wanted to be able to do magic, but I don't want to, for one fact. It's because everybody who meets you must say, she has a trick. trick. Yeah. So, <laughs> what was the first trick that you learned? Uh, first trick I learned, uh, I think it was, yeah, it was a handkerchief. I showed a handkerchief and I pushed it in my hand, blew and it vanished. That was probably the first one I learned. And turned this, turned the square spun ball into a circle. So, yeah. Was that by accident or was it a trick that you learned? <laughs> Learn from magic box set when I was younger, so yeah. Good, because otherwise I'm going to go home and I'm going to be looking for a hanky to stuff into my hand all night going, why is it not going anywhere? Uh, I've got to talk to the judges now. I'm going to go to Steve first of all, because obviously you work in entertainment uh, uh, management. What, when you look at magic, like, do you have many magic acts? Do you see many of them? Um, I'm a fan of magic acts and tricks, and I have a particular affinity with cards. Um, the difficulty to give feedback on, on this act is it's not an act that reads well from the stage. Uh, we were struggling actually to see around the participants because of the screen. And I think if you're gonna pull off a card trick in a stage act, there has to be something that gives it drama or some kind of um, excitement at the, at the critical point. And for me, it was very difficult for you to pull that off today, so I didn't quite get that. Um, notwithstanding, I love card tricks, and I think, you know, the more the better. It must be quite difficult there to choose a trick, because you've only got a certain amount of time. Yeah, and uh, obviously, it, it, we, was, we didn't really go over the camera angles, so obviously if we'd done that beforehand in rehearsals, yeah. it would have been better on the screen for you to see it. Yeah, I think yeah. It's, the, it's the kind of act that needs a lot of technical preparation, yeah, yeah. different camera angles, and so on and so forth, and probably the kind of act that reads be better on television than on live stage. So there we are, right, forget Thank the stage, you. go straight to television. Steve told you, right? Just go with his name, and Steve told me, the show is mine. Thanks so much, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.